individuals or an individual to by agreement between the Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Warrior State and here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We have some beautiful weather so, uh, for tonight's matchup between the Gosnell Pirates and the West Side Warriors. I'm here with my partner, Lake. Now, Lake, we we're talking about you know the last game of the season. You know, both teams are out of playoff contention here, but still playing for pride. Man, absolutely. I'm excited to see what they can't do tonight. Obviously, you know it, I know it. Bragging rights goes a really long way. Um, that's going to push these two, two teams here. You know, to their limits, and try and run away with the win. Obviously, not in contention, but both fighting for, you know, the bragging rights like we were talking about. Not super happy with the season. You can go ahead and take it away with these standings so far. Absolutely. As you see, Gosnell with fifth, five and four, and two and four in their conference. Westside's only win this year is against Harrisburg, um, which was a conference win, as you see them down at the bottom. You know, Westside, they're looking to come back and finish the season off strong. Again, one and eight, not the season that they exactly wanted, but something that they can at least build off of for next year if they win this game. Yeah, absolutely. We got senior night as well. Um, so these guys are going to be wanting to go out with a bang. You know, their last time at the stadium here um, playing their football. And, um, you know, they're going to want to end on a good note. And, respectively, that's going to be hopefully how they go out. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely, and you know, right now we will come back after these messages between the Gosnell Pirates and the Westside Warriors. Klein Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Klein Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Klein Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem solving for our clients. How's, Engineers, how's this? contractors, problem solvers. Klein Environmental. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the West Side Warriors. Just like the West Side School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all. Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a West Side Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A State Main. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. ASU TV shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, West Side Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today. ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to West Side Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. Here to deliver the latest news on A-State sports, ranging from football, basketball, baseball, and more. I'm your host, Tristan Harlan, alongside your other host, Cooper Mather. Red Wolf Roundtable is your local sports source. Tune in to Red Wolf Roundtable to get your fix on sports talk and news. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Warrior Stadium here at Westside. Westside looking to come onto the field here in a moment as we are doing a coin toss. Uh, 
you know, as you can see, Gosnell leads the series 19 and 2 uh, since 2001. 2022, Gosnell defeated Westside 48 uh, nothing. In 2021, Westside defeated Gosnell 49 14 for their second one of the series. You know, right now we're coming off. You know, anything can happen here on Friday Night Lights, isn't that right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're about to find out who's going to get this ball. Um, it's going to be. A, I think it's going to be a scrappy game. Um, you know, we were harping on it a little bit in the pregame. They're both looking for bragging rights in this game. Um, so we're going to see, obviously. I think it's going to be a little bit of a shootout here. Um, I don't know. What, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, right now, I mean, you have two teams that are just, like you said, playing on pride. I mean, hopefully you'll get the best from both teams here. Right. I right. think right now uh, we're seeing that with uh, with Westside. They're trying to finish off the season strong. Same with Gosnell. They're trying to finish off uh, a pretty good season this year, even though they didn't make the playoffs. Uh, Westside's looking to kind of do that in the future and trying to get, you know, get on the right foot going forward. Yeah, like we were talking about, too, um, this will be a good chance for Westside to end this season on a good note. You know, they want to go out after the senior night. They want to leave this field knowing they gave it, you know, everything they have for this season and hopefully, you know, be some more of a contending team for this next season, grow a little bit um, and mature after this season. Absolutely. We're right now looking at coin toss. Not exactly sure what's going on quite yet, but as we wait for that, you know, you know, talk about, again, some of these seniors just, you know, this is their last time playing and, you know, how is that going to kind of go forward with some of these players and their families? You know, right, that right. You know, playing just this one, just you know, for for expectations and for pride, and you know, absolutely. just trying to get the the best uh, in, in what they do forward and what they do in the future. Right, absolutely. I mean, obviously, we both know football goes beyond the game of sports. Um, you know, it's a it's a great just absolute lesson for these you know young men as they go off into their careers and whatnot um you know a lot of these guys aren't gonna be playing football so this is the chance for them to you know spend a good night with their with their family um and leave it all on the field tonight um it's a little sentimental absolutely and as you can see both teams here shaking hands before we get this started as both teams are looking to get on the field here i believe west side will be receiving if that we saw that correctly but we will see here in a moment as some of these captains will run back and run out, you know, onto the field for one of the last times here. As you can see. Awesome. So here we go. We are very close to kickoff here at Warrior Stadium. Absolutely. As the West Side Warriors looking to come out. About to run through for the last time here at Warrior Stadium. Um, you know, they're gonna they're gonna give it their all. Run for these bragging rights here. Absolutely. Here comes Gosnell right here. Gosnell taking coming in, taking the field. Some of these guys his last time taking the field of any for any high school field. But here comes Westside on senior night. Here's some of these seniors. It's a special night for them as they look to end the season on a win. Gosnell looking to end it as well. Hoping to play spoiler to the night senior uh, night for uh, Westside. Yeah, you're going to get a little shot at Lewis Ernest there. This is his fourth season as Gosnell's head coach. Um, He's looking to end it out uh, after the season here in uh, Jonesboro with these West Side Warriors. You know, a good, good little spot to kind of end off the season. Good little weather here. Um, so we're going to see what happens as West Side taking the field here. Absolutely. West Side will receive the ball. Gosling will kick off as we will be underway here in a moment, finally. Great you know, night. About Talking about this good weather, we got these hand warmers in here, a little chilly, a <laughs> little breeze going on. Absolutely. It and make, makes me excited to watch a little football, you know. A little bit nippy, but you know what? It's perfect weather for football, and I imagine these athletes probably feel the same <laughs> way as well. It's much better than those 90-degree uh, you know, right. early summers and some of those 20-degree winters. But Absolutely. We will be here in a moment as, West, excuse Gosnell. Me, as Gosnell will be. Get that ball away. Absolutely. And here we go as foot meets ball and we are underway oh and fumbles the ball looked like only falls on it and west side will get it at around the 25 26 yard line yeah that's number seven trayvon easily just couldn't quite hang on to it when it when the ball met his hands there um so west side is going to look to get this ball up and get it across absolutely as they come out with this very run heavy offense here looking to at least Kind of bulldoze this Gosnell defense, hopefully. Um, but as we can see here, as Westside will be coming up to the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Referee having a little chat with uh, 
with the quarterback here. Yeah, absolutely. And these, you can hear this crowd is excited tonight, I'm trying to get them hyped up over here. Absolutely. Um, trying to put a damper on West Side, but we're going to see, you know, what they come up with as they about to snap the ball. In motion. Oh, and he fumbles the snap. Running back gets it and gets about a couple yard loss there. Not the ideal start for West Side, but um, it's a long ball game. Absolutely. As it will be. A little second. rocky of a snap here. It looks like they're having, you know, a little trouble um, getting their hands on it. But, you know, hopefully they're going to be able to lock in a little bit, get that ball, and make some plays happen. Absolutely. Second down, down 17 ball at the 19-yard line. West side comes out in the shotgun formation. So we'll see what is going to happen here. Guy in motion already. Fake handoff. Running quarterback goes in, gets a couple extra yards, tries to get into that little... Big loss there. Third down and long still, though, for this West Side Warriors offense. Yeah, that's their start quarterback, Colton Carter. Man, he's he's very versatile. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch him. Um, obviously, they're big on that run game there, but he's not one that's you know scared to grab that ball when he sees an opening and take that. Absolutely. We've seen a little bit of differing uh, offense we usually see from West Side. Usually we see kind of a power eye formation kind of system here, but they're kind of looking more like a spread option attack right. here. As they come out with another option play. Oh, as he go in and gets sacked. Oh, for a couple yard loss there as he gets just thrown to the ground. And unfortunately, as we will get a flag on the play, probably for that late hit there, we will see the, what it is entirely yeah. about. I mean, I mean, maybe we're kind of looking like a, you know, a little excessive stuff there when he got him in the backfield there. Just kind Absolutely. of slinging him around a little bit. Absolutely. Not do that though, as you will see here. You know, kind of go, going to go back and just gets pummeled by that defensive line. But you just, as a defensive defender, you just cannot get that final hit in. You just yeah. cannot get that final hit in. Just took it a little bit too far there with that extra sling. Obviously, it's you get kind of excited in the, after a big play like that, maybe a little carried away. But it's just some things you can't can't get away with. Absolutely. We have another third down here because of that, though, as they will have another opportunity. Hopefully get close to that first down marker. 13 yards away, ball at the 23-yard line. Again, shotgun formation. A little screen pass outward and falls down, unfortunately, looking like at, at around the line of scrimmage. Looks like it picked up a few on that play there. Um, I'm excited to see you. This is a very different yeah. offense that we're seeing from West Side here. You know, they're looking little pass action there, uh, picking up a few on the play. Um, so I'm excited to see what they can't come up with this game, honestly. Absolutely. Right now, hopefully, though, the West Side is looking to get the ball back as they will be punting it away. Uh, fourth and 11 here. Ball at their 25. Pooch kick that ooh, does not go a very long way, but at least gets a, a couple West Side bounces. Yeah. Oh, as Gosnell will go back, recover it, and take it to around the 35-yard line, it looks like. Yeah. yeah around Obviously... The you know, it wasn't what they were looking for with the punt, but they got some extra yards on a little roll there. Um, they're going to – it's time for Gosnell to see what they can't do. Absolutely. As we will see a replay here. Not a – you know, for Verviel punt, but it, you know, does its job a little bit. Gets a couple extra bounces. Get, covers it around 47, but just keeps on running. And it looks like he'll go down around the yeah. 35 or so. Yeah. First and 10. First and 10. Gosnell taking the field here. Man, I'm excited to see guys to play. Um, for the you know, stakes are high when you know bragging rights are not something to play with. Yeah. Oh, as we will see a differing formation get here, a flag but flag on get, the field uh, immediately gets a flag on the field. So we will see what this is all about. Looks like it was offsides on west side. So it'll be first and five. Ball at around the third, 27, I believe, yard yeah. line. West side's 27-yard line. And as they will come out again with this formation. Break away again. As we will, are seeing some interesting formations here from Gosnell. Snaps the ball, though. Almost picked off, but gets a nice little screen pass there. As Gosnell will get to around, it looks like, almost the 11, 12-yard line. How about that for a nice little play there for Gosnell? Man, I, I didn't know what I was going to see there, but that was uh, that was an interesting little play here. You can see. Yeah, so you got the Gosnell giddy up here. Look at that. I mean, all going to the far side of the field here. 
I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but you see he snaps the ball. He's looking for number two there, almost tipped there, and he's going to run it down the sideline, and boom, he's going to get nailed. Absolutely. As they come back out with a shotgun formation, handoff, running back here, breaks a couple tackles and gets it around the five-yard line. What a great run by Gosnell there to get inside, that, you know, getting further, excuse me, into that red zone. Right. And Gosnell, man, it looks like they have got a pretty strong – run game there they are not afraid to take a little you know little hits here and there because you know they're pushing through uh, that middle there looking to get some yards second and two now might as well be second and goal with you know the way that the field is looking for them right now another handoff to big old number two as he gets in there it'll be a touchdown for Gosnell hello end zone as it is now six nothing Gosnell as the Gosnell band will have a nice little time there yeah there they go you know they're gonna hand it off Number two again, and like I'm talking about, boom, he's just not afraid to take a hit, lower that shoulder, and then he's going to go in for that touchdown, for that Gosnell touchdown. They're going to put it up 6-0 to zero right now going for that PAT. Absolutely. Two-point conversion looks like here. Oh, yeah. So again, another shot in the formation. They will snap it. That will be a running play, looks like, for number three quarterback, and he goes to the left side, scrambles a little bit, throws up a little Hail Mary, and it gets in. But a Perhaps. flag is on the yeah. field. Absolutely. Flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. Uh, it'll be on at Gosnell as they will try again for the PAT. A nice little interesting, uh, you know, got a couple giddy-up formations and you go for a two-point conversion here. I mean, this Gosnell is coming out and with some uh, interesting play calls here. Yeah, absolutely. That Gosnell giddy-up, it really got me. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't expecting to see that and, you know, it ended up working out for him. It might have looked a little funky, but, boy, they got it done. Absolutely. They're they that, getting that touchdown. They will try with this two-point conversion attempt again. Hoping to make it 8 nothing. A snap ball. Scrambles out to his right. Throws it. Slings it. Incomplete pass as the score will stay 6 nothing. as we will be right back with more football action here at Warrior Stadium. Cloud Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Cloud Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Cloud Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem-solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, problem-solvers. Klein Environmental. As welcome back here as Gosnell will be uh, kicking off to Westside again for the second time this game. Westside a little had some sputtering offense there in, the, in their first drive. Nice little three and out. Gosnell came back and just went right down the field again for a 37-yard drive. Absolutely. As again, foot will meet ball as we will have another kickoff. This time it is caught as Westside will take it out. Breaks a couple tackles, gets to around the 29, 30-yard line for Westside. Yeah, that's Carter Powell. Picking up the ball on that little run back there. You know, looking good. He's, it looks like he's not super excited about that, obviously. Got some yardage, though. Um, West side is seeing what they can't do. You know, they're not super happy with that last drive. So they're, you know, they, they're wanting to prove themselves out here at home on senior night. Absolutely. As they will come back out here. As they will come back in the traditional power eye that they usually run. A goodbye spread option. Hello, little eye formation here. A snap ball. It looks like Carter will run to his right, scramble a little bit, try and get out to the outside. A little stiff arm there at the end. It gets yeah. around about two or three yards there. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Carter, man, he is not afraid to run that football. You know, you got that power eye formation, and he is going to run that ball um, where he sees fit, you know. If he's going to hands it off, perfect. But if he sees something, he's not going to be one that's scared to take it. Absolutely. And I apologize as it was a no-yard no gain there, zero yards. Second down and 10 now at the 30-yard line for West Side. The Warriors will come back out again with that formation. Wing T formation. Uh, as Carter will try and go and try to scramble out to his left. Doesn't lose yardage, actually. Loses yards. Around two-yard loss there. Probably around third and 12 now for West Side. As again, they come to this uh, 
third and long again. Their second, third and long so far this game. Absolutely. You know, they're looking to move these chains here early tonight. This is not exactly what they're looking for. Um, but obviously he got a little tripped up there. They pushed him, gave him some pressure, and left him with very little option um, on that play. Absolutely. Third and 13 now. Trying to get around 13 yards here for West Side. Yasnil did not come to make this game easy for West Side. Not at all. So we were snapped the ball on the handoff here as they would be drug, uh, sorry, dragged down, excuse me, near the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and long again for Gosnell, or excuse me, for Westside. As Gosnell will get the ball back here again. So they got Gavin Metz there. Um, they're running back. You know, he's a solid, he can take a hit, he can run that ball, but it, right now we're just looking for a pocket, you know, to make something happen. Absolutely. As they are looking to hike the ball here, it is snapped. Punted. Nice punt here. Great towering punt. As we'll get a west side bounce at around the Gosnell 36, 35 yard line, it looks like. As yeah, Gosnell's absolutely. offense will come back out. A little bit different of a punt there this time, yeah. pinning them deep there on their 35. Um, make it a little harder. Absolutely. As so we have number two here for the offense for Gosnell. That is, uh, uh, that'll be Lucas, I believe. Big guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, scored I'm excited. A touchdown. Yeah, I mean, you see him in this pass possession. He is running that ball. And you'll notice, even at the end of these plays, he's getting checked, he's getting hit, and he's just solid as a rock taking those hits. And a Mike Allstock kind of runner there is the first drive. Uh, as Gosnell will lob it deep, and it'll be caught. Oh, it loses a defender, loses another guy, as he will keep going. 10 5 touchdown, Gosnell. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. Oh, my. Wow. Westside almost had the interception there. It looked like the defender number nine had it in his hands. Just Gosnell, as we will see the replay here. See Cole Keedy on that play there. Almost gets this interception coming down. Boom, off the fingertips, caught by number three, dodges the tackle, runs up the middle, boom, stiff arm, dodges another tackle, and another one, and a touchdown for Gosnell. That is insane. Great wow. play by them, staying on their feet. Just never quit as they will hand it off to Lucas again, just powering into the end zone, getting it in. 14 nothing Gosnell, as we will be right back after these after this break. Gene Roberts, I'm the owner of the franchise for Fox's Pizza Den in Bono, Arkansas, and I'd like to thank our customers for eating local with us. Yeah, absolutely. Cameron Williams really showed out that last play, number three, catching that ball running in. We're going to see what happens here. Absolutely. Carter Powell there, picking it up again, running that ball to the 50. Good little pickup there. He's happy about that one. Um, you know, we've been seeing this eye formation there, trying to get something happening. Um, you thinking we're going to be sticking something similar, or what, you think we're going to be changing it up a little bit? Yeah, right now, I think Westside will be looking to hopefully do what they've been doing all year, going out of that power eye, that first series. Looks like okay, they move back to the 49. Yeah. So as they will come out in that power eye formation. West side, first down. Here we go. Ball is snapped. Oh, nice little hitch pass there. A nice little jump pass. Get some positive yards there for West Side. How about that? Absolutely. As a Rocks to him for hanging on to that thing, man. Catches it. Boom. Immediately met with coverage. But he was not giving it up. They're going to get a little game there. Absolutely. Yeah, as we will see the uh, replay here. 
know, it was a it was a little bit of a rocky deal here. Um, you can see he gets that ball to him, but boom, he's instantly met um, with that coverage. Kind of looking like a little looking like a little maybe pass interference, but didn't call it, so we're gonna keep on playing. Absolutely. Again, another big power eye formation here as it is given to a running back here for West Side as he is just towering tr close to that first down marker. See if they give it to him. Yeah, they're going to try and push him along as far as they can. Um, try and just push for those extra yards. Absolutely. Know, they're, they're shooting for it. Sticking with their old ways. I like it. I think it's going to be something good, hopefully. Absolutely. Third and in inches now as we we'll see what they go with here. Carter under center now. Snaps ball. Given off and immediately met as they lose yardage on a critical third and inches there as it will be now fourth down for Westside to see what they do here. Yeah, absolutely. Gavin Metz is instantly off this handoff here. He snaps the ball. Boom. As fast as Gavin Metz get it, you know, it's equally as fast as the defender reaches him and takes him down for the fourth down. So now they're going to try and get this ball up and gone more than likely. Absolutely. Fourth down now. They will go oh. for it, it looks like. As again, they will come out in their signature power eye formation. Two fullbacks and a running back. Hand off. Oh, no, power play action, excuse me. Heaves it to a wide receiver and is intercepted by Gosnell at around the 12-yard line. As Gosnell will get it back. You know, here with play call there. Obviously, Westside is wanting something uh, to come of this possession. Um, you know, he's looking for his wide receiver over there. Just couldn't quite get it to him. A little short. Um, but they're they're going to pick up the interception, like you said. Hang out around that 12, you know. Not super great field position, but they're going to see what they can't do as he lobs it up here. And number three for Gosnell, that is Williams again. Man, just catching them. Absolutely. Guys, and again, will come out here in shotgun formation, trying to get some points off of that turnover. Snaps ball and is a quarterback run as we'll be juking in and out, going to the left side. A flag on the play. We get a, get a big, nice chunk of yardage there for Guys, but we'll see what the flag is all about. As it was just a great play, though, yeah, by their quarterback. Absolutely. absolutely. He definitely, I mean, both teams. The ability for their quarterbacks to pick up some extra yardage, Absolutely. Uh, which is going to make this team, uh, these two teams have a really good lineup, obviously very similar gameplay here. Um, so I'm excited to see what we can't do as we get deeper into this game. Absolutely. And, you know, Gosnell has the lead early, but hopefully Westside is going to, you know, try and close that gap. Absolutely. Again, they'll go back to pass here as he has a wide open receiver tipped up. This time it is incomplete, though. It was almost looking like a play from last possession, man. Tipping it, barely misses that here. You can see him snaps the ball in the pocket. Boom, looking downfield off his fingertips. Almost caught by number five, Jacobs there for Gosnell. Absolutely. It is now second and long, second and 13, excuse me, for Gosnell. Ball at the three-yard line almost, I believe. It was almost like Groundhog Day there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, almost, almost got that <laughs> right back. The same game. <laughs> absolutely. As again, they will have a hand it off here, as he shakes and bakes a couple tackles and gets some positive positive yards there for Gosnell. Will be now third down. Absolutely. For Gosnell, nice job by Westside of just kind of neutralizing that and still forcing them to a nice third and somewhat long here. Absolutely. Westside holding them deep here, you know, hanging out around that nine-yard line, um, pinning them deep, not making it on, e making it easy on Gosnell to get, you know, some more lead. They're trying to close this gap early before it becomes something that they can't handle. Absolutely. Third and seven now for Gosnell. Snaps the ball here. You go up to try and throw it. Heaves it deep. And that is caught. By guess who? Number wow. three for Gosnell, same guy who you know, had a nice little uh, touchdown earlier. He gets a huge uh, chunk play here. Williams here, absolutely insane, these hands he has. 
he heaves it way downfield. Heavy coverage, still pulls it down. Man, Williams is having an absolute game here at Warrior Stadium. Insane gameplay. Absolutely. Two big plays for Gosnell, both coming from Williams as their quarterback will rush out left, sling it down the field, and it is. Is that caught? Wow. No, incomplete. Out of bounds. I see almost had another big chunk play in the air. Man, it's great when you have a great wide receiver, but also great when you have a great quarterback. I mean, he is putting it where these receivers need it. And boom, they are pulling it down. Unfortunately, you know, he's just a little bit out of bounds there before he can pull it down uh, for a fair catch. But, wow, the skill of these receivers is insane, matched with their quarterback skill. Absolutely. Great middle, game play. And Middleton at the quarterback position here for Gosnell, having some big plays so far. Adding on as it will be, again, another shotgun formation, another rolling out, and another just beautiful pass out to his receiver, shakes and bakes another tackle, and that will be a first down for Gosnell. How about that? Again, just kind of getting past this west side defense here. Absolutely. Jacobs again on the carry. A little short pass there with some heavy coverage on that quarterback, but he still found his receiver, Jacobs, um, and they're going to pick up some yardage on that, closing that gap a little bit, looking towards this end zone. And, you know, these Warriors are going to try and stop them short, you know. Absolutely. They're going to try and force these guys into, either into a turnover or a field goal. They're kind of in deep in their own territory here. Ball to 23, snap ball, handoff to Gosnell, and it is met right away at the line of scrimmage. They're close to it. This will be second down around 10 or 9. Absolutely. They didn't give them a whole lot of a chance there to find any open pockets. They quickly collapsed on that hole, wrapping him up. But, you know, they are, they are not trying to allow a touchdown um, and put this game at 21 nothing. Um, you know, they just, they're just they trying to stop that early, nip that in the butt, and keep this game play, you know, something that they can handle, something that they can still take the lead on. Absolutely. Just right now, Westside can, can only – Hope right now to stop these guys, but here it is another pass out out wide to it looks like Jacobs again. Incomplete though for Westside as it will be third and nine here for Gosnell. Great job by Westside kind of making that incomplete pass possible. Absolutely. He was quick to get him there. Jacobs on the receive, but he was still bobbing it around when he got hit by that West Side um, cornerback. So that'll be a good little stop for West Side holding them where they're at right now, third and nine. Um, they're not trying to give up anything easy right now. Absolutely. West side fighting right now, trying to hold these guys out of the end zone, trying to limit what they can, what Gosling can do. Gosling coming out again in shotgun formation. Gosling back, pressured again, throwing it out again, gets it to the receiver who's powering, just pumping, trying to get to that flag comes out, but just tries to get into that end zone, does not, falls a little bit short. Man, the strength on him, insane. They've got him wrapped up, and he is still trucking and trucking, looking for that end zone. Absolutely impressive, nothing short of it. You know, he's trying to get all those yards that they can here. And you can see a little short pass action where number 16 is going to pick it up. Boom. And you see he's quickly met by number 23, and then boom, two defenders on him. But he is still reaching for them yards, and three defenders on him. And he is still going for those yards there. Insane. You know, it takes a lot to put that guy on the ground. Absolutely. First and goal now. Penalty was on west side. Uh, as Middleton will fake the, uh, the handoff there and get into the end zone. It is now a 20 to nothing ball game for Gosnell as they pile it on here in the first quarter. Absolutely. You know, this is not what west side's looking for early on um, in the first quarter. They want to keep this game containable, like I said. But well, you see this little quarterback sneak there. They weren't expecting it, and boom. He just had it wide open, red carpet, walked it on in there. Um, but, you know, West Side is going to want to close this gap here as they're going to be going um, to try and get these extra points here. Absolutely. Gosnell with the two-point conversion again. Coming out with their quarterback, number three, as he will fake the handoff. Roll out to his right, throw it up, and incomplete falls through the hands of his receiver as it will stay, stay 20 to nothing. We'll be right back with more action here between Gosnell and Westside. 
Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Becoming a member of the Westside Athletic Booster Club is a rewarding and valuable contribution to the Warrior Nation, our school, and most importantly, our student athletes. The purpose of the club is to promote athletics at Westside High School in an atmosphere that is consistent with the educational philosophy of the school community. Check out our Facebook page for more information on how to become a member. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. As we are back here, 20 to nothing, Gosnell game here. As Gosnell will be kicking off to West Side again. West Side trying to at least cut into this deficit here going into the second quarter. Absolutely. They're going to chip at, chip away at it little by little if they can um, and try and close this gap back as they kick it off. Kick it off. Here we go, old school style. One point of, as uh, West Side will get it, though. Running out to the corner. Got some blocks. Got a couple green here. Gets another good return here for West Side. As that will be, it looks like uh, yeah, Owl there on the yeah. play. He's Owl, getting his yeah. touches in tonight. Yeah, Man, they're just giving it to him, and he's just getting progressively and progressively better. Picking up these yards here, you're going to see he catches it, um, and he's going to pick it up. Boom, misses the tackle there. He's going to run to the sideline and get some extra yardage. And boom, he's out of bounds right around the 50-yard line. Absolutely. And here we go back as West Side will be getting it back. It looks like there's a penalty perhaps on yeah. West Side as they will bring it back to around the 29 yard line West Side territory. It's West Side in the huddle here. Absolutely. Hopefully West it. Side, you know, trying to chip away at this, like we said. Um, they're going to try and get some points on the board because right now, one minute left in the first, not looking wonderful for them um but they're gonna like i said try and get some points up on the board as right now that is absolutely crucial um you know to the rest of this game absolutely just try and get something on this board here on senior night as west side's quarterback will get under center here number 11 hand it off to a big fullback of his as he just rumbles and stumbles his way nice little gain there for west side will be second and short here gavin metz also getting his touches in tonight for the West Side Warriors, and he is a great running back there. You know, he can take those hits. He can find those pockets, and, you know, that's why they rely so heavily on the run game is because they have a great running back there. So now Wombo on the center here. And off. We met. Quickly met there. Got a little extra action going on here. Gosnell is super happy with that outcome. Um, Westside Warriors are going to line back up here. Third down. We're going to see what comes of this. Absolutely. Third and short here for Westside. As they're in the huddle. You know, they need to pick up some yards here um, in order to put this game back on track, point them in the right direction here, 20 to nothing. Um, they just, they're looking to put some points on the board as they hit the sidelines. Absolutely, as that will end the first quarter between guys on the west side, 20 to 10 nothing. We'll be right back after these messages. Cloud Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Cloud Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Cloud Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem-solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, <coughs> problem-solvers. Klein Environmental. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud yeah, supporter to, sorry, of the West Side Warriors. Take over there every once in a while. Just like the West Side School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all, Denver's Refrigeration <laughs> strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a West Side Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. And welcome back here in the second quarter as Westside will get the ball here. Third and short here for Westside as they come back out here with that power eye, power formation. 
Get another handoff to, it looks like, Mertz. who will get past and get a first down, which will, that will be a uh, Denver's refrigeration first down for the Warriors. Here we go. The big conversion there, picking up those extra couple of yards. They're going to keep this truck in there. First Absolutely. and ten, new hope for the Westside Warriors. Looking to get some points on this board early in the second. Absolutely. Now first and ten, fresh set of downs here for Westside as they will come back out here. Absolutely. On a tight clock here, looking to close that gap. Absolutely. Um, we're going to see if Gosnell can maintain that heavy defense. Yeah, pitch play here as he is met immediately by Gosnell, by Gosnell defender, as that will be about a four-yard, three-yard loss there for Westside. Absolutely. You see it here. Hands it off to Gavin Metz. Boom, he gets it and breaks through the line there and is instantly met as soon as he picks up the ball. And that's just some more of that Gosnell heavy defense, not allowing anything to get by them for these Westside Warriors right now. Absolutely. As Westside will come back out here, second and 14 now for the Warriors. Try to at least cut this down. So third and manageable. Again, another handoff here to running back as he again um, is met immediately for about a one-yard loss there. This will be third and long here for Westside. Yeah, you see Drummond's on the play there getting his touch in. Um, but, you know, like I said, this guy's no defense. Not giving it up easy for these Westside Warriors. Instantly met Drummond's at the line. Um, you know, they got to get a little conversion here. It's third and 15. Long way to go. So we're going to see what they can't come up with Come up with here um, going into it. Absolutely. And it looks like Carter will be coming out here as for quarterback here for West Side. As he will be under center here. Switching quarterbacks here for West Side. One in, one out kind of offense. As he will... Snap the ball, and it'll be a quarterback sneak here on third and long as they will try and get a little bit of a tush push going. And he will be met about two or three yards below before excuse me, the line of scrimmage. Yeah, absolutely. They got a little tush push going on there. And, man, they just instantly wrapped him up there and got him, you know, almost lifted him up off the ground, carrying him back to that line of scrimmage. So now fourth and long. Now they will send out their punting team, it looks like. For, God, uh, for West Side, excuse me. As Gosnell will get the ball back again, hoping to extend their lead here in the second quarter. They're going to try and get another good punt from the Warriors here and pin them deep, um, not making it easy for them. You know, right now, 20-0, to getting that punt up. Ooh, it is not a very long punt, though, as it gets a West Side bounce, though. It gets a very generous West Side bounce as it will be around the 31-yard line. Uh, excuse me, Gosnell's 31-yard line. As Gosnell will get the ball back and try again, like we said earlier, try to extend this lead a little bit, get Absolutely. that second half lead up. These Warriors are going to try and keep them mm -hmm. on that side of the field. They don't want them over here. Um, they want to leave them on this side of the field, obviously trying to keep this a maintainable ball game. Um, they don't want them jumping up 26, 27 to 0 this early in the second. Absolutely. As again, they will come back out here. Shotgun formation here for Gosnell. Snap ball. Be a nice little fake there for the quarterback there for Gosnell as he will be met right around two yards before the first down marker there. Impressive play by Williams there. Man, it just seems like he can just do about all of it there. You know, he's quick. He can take a hit, and he's going to find those pockets and, you know, make sure that they pick up these extra yards. As we got second and two here, they're going to just pick up a little gain is what they're going to try and do. Absolutely. Senior quarterback here doing a fantastic job for Gosnell. Westside looking to stop here. him, though, excuse me, late in uh, the second half. Snap ball again. As you'll go back, pump fakes it. Throws it down again, though. Is incomplete, though. A little bit short of his receiver there. But a good play nonetheless. They had him on streak there. Absolutely. Looks like he just didn't quite get enough power on that ball to meet that you know, receiver where he was at. Um, still sec third and second here. They're going to just try and get a couple of yards, move these chains a little bit, and shoot to up the score um, early in the second. Absolutely. It'll be a big third down now for Westside. Trying to get a stop here. 
against this Gosnell offense, which has so far been kind of torching them with big plays. The snap ball again, a little handoff here, as he will get it and much more. Breaking tackles and down inside into West Side territory. A first down for Gosnell. Big play for Gosnell there in their efforts to up this score early in the second. Westside's going to have to reevaluate here as you see they get it to him, and boom, he's going to find that pocket there free right there, and he's instantly met with the defender, but they just can't take him down, and that's some more of that action where he is just carrying those defenders with him. You know, he's a strong guy getting these yards for Gosnell early in the second tonight. So a ball at the West side 46, again, another handoff. Here is again, finds another hole. Again, big play here again for Gosnell. Running play gets a nice little second and short, it looks like, for Kylan, the Pirates. Kylan Young there, the speed on that young man, he is finding these pockets, and boom, 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 he is moving these chains. Uh, second and ten, picking up some yardage there. First and ten, excuse me. Second, second and one now. Second and one. I you know, can't get it right. <laughs> but Gosnell's one yard off of here, trying to get this. And, and it looks like they will. he will down. fall forward past the line of scrimmage. That will be another first down for Gosnell. And again, another fresh set of downs for this dangerous offense here. As Westside again trying to force these Gosnell Pirates into a turnover or field goal situation. They haven't quite done that quite yet, but still enough time here in the second half to at least try and get some points here for Westside. Absolutely. Westside's going to have to reevaluate their efforts here in stopping this Gosnell defense because right now they are explosive in picking up these yards. You know, their threat downfield as well as off the handoff. Absolutely. Again, another shotgun formation. Both wide receiver, excuse me, running backs. As Lucas will get the ball, powering his way. Goodness. He is just a powerful runner, he is. A little Mike Allstock kind of guy. As again, it will be a nice second and short. Second and four, maybe it looks like, for this Gosnell offense. They are just trucking and trucking and trucking, aren't they? Absolutely. You can see him here. They're going to hand it off early. Boom. Looking for the pocket. Gets to that pocket. Met with defenders instantly. But it takes, you know, a good portion of that West Side defense to take that young man down. Absolutely. Gosnell look to keep this going, though, keep this momentum going. A snap ball for Gosnell as he will go up. Another pass here for Gosnell as it is tipped up and almost caught again, but this time incomplete. How about that? Gosnell is not so happy with that one, but they are loving these tip passes, almost pulling them down time after time with a successful one in the first quarter. You can see it here, number five uh, getting... You know, just short there, 11 breaks it up, and it's just short um, for that QB there. That's number 11, Middleton. Sorry, number five, Jacobs. Here we go. Middleton will get and hand the ball off here for Gosnell as he will be met. Looks like past the first down marker on that big third down play for Gosnell as it keeps the ball going. Absolutely. As it looks like Middleton will be coming out of the ball game. Subbing in Kylan Young for Gosnell. He's been a great player um, for them so far. Absolutely. Middleton come back out on the field here. First and ten now for the Pirates. Coming out again with that signature spread yeah, uh, shotgun attack. Receiver. New set of downs. Absolutely. For them, they're going to try and move these chains and get some points on the board. Absolutely. As a flag will be on the play here. As we will see what that is about. It could be it will be on Gosnell. It looked like almost like a delay game. As, oh, the flag is waved off as a timeout was called by the Pirates, it looks like. We're going to see... Absolutely, and we will be right back after these messages. 20 nothing Gosnell, here, late in the second quarter. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A-State mate. 
Are you ready to go? Go .edu for details. Welcome back here. Gosnell up 20 to nothing. Five minutes left to go, or six minutes left to go, excuse me, here in the second quarter. Gosnell Absolutely. looking to extend their lead here. But Westside trying to get that ball back and trying to get some points on the board. Absolutely. They're going to reevaluate here and see what we can't do to try and get some points on the board and get some stops because right now they're just running and running and running the field and, you know, they have to get this done. Well, Middleton fumbles with the snap, though, but does not matter as he gets a couple yards. Or, oh, is he still running? He is. How about that? Again, a couple extra yards there on that second and third try for Gosnell. Is it now is a short second down Absolutely. for the Pirates. Kylan Young, he's just not wanting to touch the ground tonight. You'd think it's like a floor is lava type deal. <laughs> he's not touching it, and he is staying on his feet with that speed and that strength to get through these pockets and take those hits. Absolutely. As they will be close at the, looks like the eight, oh, so excuse me, 15 yard line for the Pirates. Snap ball again, quarterback run though, as he shakes and bakes. Oh, and into the end zone for Gosnell, as it will now be a 26 to nothing ball game here in the second quarter. Jacobs there, explosive. I mean, you can see him just bobbing and weaving through these defenders with his sheer speed here. Boom, he's going to run it, sees that pocket, cuts right across, misses the tackle, splits the gap, and he's going to put it in the end zone for another Gosnell touchdown. Oh, as, as that touchdown, though, will be raced as Gosnell will be penalized on that play. We're going to see what we have here on the field. Looks like they're going to lose those six points that they just picked up and replay that. Absolutely. Again, second try now, second and 12. Again, almost same play here, but he trips and falls on this attempt as he will lose yardage and will be a third and long. Really, Gosnell's first third and long of the ball game, it feels like. Right. Yeah, usually, you know, they're converting from a couple yards out, but now they're going to have to readjust from 12 yards out here and try and pick up some yardage. You know, they were looking... Um, like they were going to try and run that same play, but he just got tripped up a little bit um, and met the ground there. Absolutely. Third and 12, it looks like, for the Pirates. As they will try and get this ball near that red zone here. Milton here as a quarterback here for Gosnell. Snaps the ball and looks to try and get the... Oh, sends it out to Lucas, though. He has plenty of room. Oh, 10-5, and looks like inside at the two-yard line. Oh, at the one, it looks like. How about wow. that? Just short of that touchdown off of that great play there. Yeah. Bobbing and weaving through these defenders, getting those yards on a great conversion for Gosnell there. Absolutely. Here, Middleton just getting pressure immediately and just passing it right to Lucas, which is a pretty smart play considering what he's been doing this game, hasn't it? Absolutely. His speed, his strength, he's not one that you're going to be easily taken to the ground, and that makes him such a threat for this Gosnell offense. Absolutely. So first and goal. So it looks like 71 here has a blue helmet. No, 77, excuse me. So this one, though, will be a, a touchdown for Gosnell. As it will now be a 26 to nothing ball game for Gosnell. So they'll come out and try for the two-point con uh, conversion as they have so far this game. A great play by Gosnell to extend their lead even more. Yeah, I mean, he's got a little change of scenery there on that blue helmet. We got a little replay here. Jacobs taking it in, and boom, he's quickly wrapped up. Absolutely, Jacobs again will take it, try and be elusive within it. And it works again. Now gets a second two-point conversion of the ball game. Now up four touchdowns here. Westside's got to get some points off of this next drive. Yeah, absolutely, he's going to make up for that last play there. But then we're going to go to break, and we're going to have some more football right when we get back. Meet the Gig family. Blaze is hardcore with a controller. Tara works remotely, zooming by day and online shopping at night. Trey never misses the big game. And Gigi loves to stream but hates to wait. They're all living the gig life. No lagging, buffering, or waiting. Thanks to Ritter Communications, one gig internet. You too can be like the gigs. Connected to what matters the most for your family with fast, fiber-rich internet from Ritter Communications. Right by you. Welcome back here at Warrior Stadium. It is 28 to nothing. Um, uh, Gosnell, excuse me. 
These guys will be kicking off to west side. The Warriors, Gosnell, just kind of having their way right now on the offensive side of the ball. Absolutely. Four minutes left in the second. Four touchdowns up for Gosnell. They made up for some, you know, missed second uh, two-point attempts uh, this last quarter. Um, but, man, west side's going to have to reevaluate, try and put some points on the board this possession in order to not, you know, make this a game that they can't come back from, you know. That's okay. Gosnell will kick it off here. As Westside will receive it around the 15 yard line. Try and shake and bake a little bit, but gets immediately, immediately dragged down at around 25 yard line. Nice little 10, 10 yard play there for Westside as they will take over deep in their own territory. Absolutely. And that is Dodson for the Westside Warriors, who was quickly wrapped up and taken down on that return. Um, they need, you know, we can emphasize it, they need to get some points here in this possession. You know, they just can't afford for these, you know, Gosnell Pirates to keep pushing and getting these touchdowns. They need to also even the score, even the blows, and put some points on the board four minutes in the second. Absolutely. Timeout west side, it looks like. As west side will try and, as, as we will take it out to break here. Here. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the West Side Warriors. Just like the West Side School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all, Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a West Side Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration. 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. Welcome back here, Westside, with a timeout, trying to discuss their their kind of line of attack here. Uh, we will look back here. We will have a re-air game replays 6 p.m. on Saturday on Ritter Communication Cable Channel 21 on Saturday night, as well as 7 p.m. on Tuesday on ASU TV on Sunlink Channel 18. Absolutely. Four minutes left in this second. Man, we got to get some plays going for if you're the West Side Warriors here. They're going to try and pick up some yardage here. New set of downs. They need to convert, move these chains. Um, but Gosnell is not making it easy. West Side coming out in a shotgun formation. A little, nice little pooch pass out to number eight there. He gets it. Gets a couple extra yards there. And has some nice little uh, nice little gain for West Side. Again, coming out with that little spread act uh, spread attack there as they open up the game with that, but went back to the power eye almost immediately. Absolutely. Jake Graham coming out strong um, with his first touch of the night, trying to get some of these yards here from these West Side Warriors and get this game a little more under control, a little more balanced, even the blows a little bit, and put some points on the board for the West Side Warriors. Absolutely. Gosnell again. Excuse me, West Side again coming out. Shotgun formation. Running back to his left. Snap ball. A nice little quarterback run here, but is met almost at the line of scrimmage there. But gets a couple yards. This will be a nice little third and short for West Side. Here we go. West Side again. Trying to get, like we keep emphasizing, trying to get some points here. A big, big third down here for, sure. for third the Warriors. And six. They're going to try and move these chains. And, you know, like we said, hopefully get something on the board for these guys on their last ball game here at Warrior Stadium. Absolutely. West side out here. Man in motion here. A uh, little fake uh, handoff here. Oh, as you'll overthrow his wide out. West side now with a fourth down again for this Warriors offense. You got Colton Carter there in a little play action. Looking for his receiver, Keedy. Um, you can see he scrambles out to the near side of the field looking for his receiver, Keedy. Just a little overthrown there, and that's going to be fourth and four for the uh, for the West Side Warriors here. Absolutely. Like you said, fourth and four. Punt team on for West Side as they will try and pin a Gosnell back deep into their territory. They've had a couple good punts, but a couple that have – Gone their way a little bit. You know, haven't gone too long, but have gotten a couple bounces. Snap ball almost overthrown, but again, nice kick here. As again, talk about a west side bounce. The guys will pick it up. Try to break a couple tackles. Has some green in front of them, but will get pushed out of bounds at around the 30-yard line, the west side 30-yard line. Absolutely, and that's Williams there on the carry again as he scoops it up. 
uh, for the Gosnell Pirates and gets those yardage there. And you can see right here, kicks it off to the near side of the field, picks it up at the 40, down to the 50, 45, 40, boom, and he's going to get wrapped up just, you know, just by the 30 there, and that's going to be a great carry for these Gosnell Pirates as they're trying to up the score against these Westside Warriors at Warrior Stadium here in Jonesboro. Absolutely. Third, or first and 10, excuse me, ball at the 32-yard line. Uh, Gosnell again coming out, trying to extend their lead going into the half. On senior night here for Westside. Snap ball here for Gosnell. Again, another quarterback run gets met, but falls forward, gets a couple yards here. For a nice second and looks like seven for the Pirates. Handoff there for the Pirates as they're trying to get just a couple extra little yards there on the carry. And we're looking at second and six here. And they're going to try and convert um, for that first down or maybe even that touchdown. Put those points up on the board. Um, up that score just a little bit more. Make it a little tougher for these West Side um, Warriors to close that gap in this second quarter. Absolutely. Now ball at around the 28-yard line for Gosnell. Second and around six. A little under two minutes left to go here in the half. As a handoff again to a running back. As again will fall forward and gets a couple of good yards there for Gosnell, but it'll be a third down for the Pirates. Good little carry for Kylan Young there on the play. Just looking to pick up a couple yards, um, but that's just not going to do it for him. Um, you know, they're going to try and put it in that end zone. Like I said, up that score just a little bit more, make it a little tougher. And we're going to see what they can't come up with right here on third and three. Absolutely, third and three here. Oh, fake handoff, but his run as he leaps over a west side defender and gets a first down. Talk about an athletic way of getting it, but a flag on the play. Flag on the field after that hurdle, looking like a track star out there running. Boom, sees the pocket, goes for that hurdle, catches him on the helmet there and goes down. But we got a flag on the field, and we're going to see. As we will see what is on. As holding, it looks like, on Gosnell, as that will be, that athletic play will be taken away. As it will be third now and around, I believe, 13. Absolutely, as we will. You know, Warriors, Warriors are in a tough little spot here because 35 points this conference, this Arkansas football is going to start that mercy rule, and they're going to run that clock. So Warriors have to be very careful and try and get a stop as the uh, Pirates replay third down after that track star of a play there. Absolutely. He's a runner. He is a track star. So again, third and 13 now for the Pirates. Man in motion here for Gosnell. Snap ball. Gosnell will go back. Heave it deep. He has a receiver wide open, but overthrows his man. As we have at least some... Got a little scuffle yeah. on the field here. Where number 50 is just laying on top of number 73 for the you know Westside Warriors. And he is not happy about that. No flags on the field, though. So we're just going to keep this ball game playing here. You can see here just absolutely laying on top of him. And, you know, overthrown there. Um, unfortunately was unable to convert on third and three, but that is good news for the West Side Warriors. Absolutely. It will be a fourth down and long here. We'll see what Gosnell will want to do as they will all meet up as Gosnell, though, will take a timeout to talk about what they want to do here as we will be staying here. Gosnell, again, just trying to get to that, you know, elusive 35 points. Though, you know, Westside trying not to get, trying to get, you know, get them to stop <laughs> scoring here. They want to get some points of their own Absolutely. as they have not had any luck so far with doing so. But now here, a good little, good opportunity to force them into either into a, a turnover on downs, so miss field goal, or, you know, a little, nice little pooch punt maybe perhaps. Right, right. yeah, 49 seconds. I'm excited to see what happens here at Westside Stadium here for the Warriors on their senior night. Man, you know, they don't want to go out with anything that they would be unhappy with for their senior night, you know. Like we were talking about earlier, some of their last times playing football and especially, you know, at this field. A lot of sentimental time here played ball games, and we're going to see what they can't do and try and close this gap against the Gosnell Pirates. Absolutely, Middleton here in quarterback for Gosnell as he will go back and again will heave it deep. 
has one guy open, and he catches it and gets a touchdown. Oh, my. As we will get another flag, though, comes right onto the field here. It could be excessive celebration. But what a catch and what a throw by Middleton to his receiver. Absolutely. Gosnell just placing those balls exactly where these receivers need them in order to convert and get these touchdowns. You see, snaps the ball, sitting in the pocket comfortably, no pressure, boom, throws it up, and it's perfectly thrown, almost tips it, but caught by number three, Cameron Williams for the Gosnell Pirates. And that's going to do it for him. But we got a flag, so we're going to see what we got going on here on the field. Nice little dunk on the end of that celebration as well. It appears that was the flag, perhaps. But they'll come out again with the two-point conversion, it appears. Just trying to you know, separate just even a little more. He's 35, like we're talking about, starts that mercy rule. But they're going to try and go for 36. Absolutely. Milton in here for Westside. Oh, it looks like they will be kicking it. Oh, Milton will it be is. trying to kick it. Get to that 35. As here we go. First time that Gosnell has attempted a point after a try in terms of a kick. As he will get it. And it's immediately up. blocked, though, by Westside. And that is no good. It will stay at 34 nothing. All right. Here, going as a Westside will try and get some points on the board. No West mercy rule quite yet. but Hanging on. Absolutely. Hanging on by the skin of their teeth. But they will try and get this ball back and try and get something going with 43 seconds left. But then going into the second half, you know, get some, hopefully some good plays and some good points. Absolutely. That's back a in this ball game. great news for the Westside Warriors there as they get that, you know, missed you know, extra point there. That's going to keep them from that mercy rule, that dreaded mercy rule, and keep this ball game at 34 for just a little while longer while they try and close that gap. You know, this is the perfect opportunity for them. You know, if that didn't scare them, if that didn't get them going on the straight and narrow, then, you know, I don't know what's going to happen for these, you know, Westside Warriors. So these guys will kick it deep in their territory due to that unsportsmanlike conduct or uh... – Excessive celebration, perhaps. With 43 seconds left again, Gosling will be kicking it off. They've done a great job at keeping them deep, not giving them any, you know, up high field position, not making it close, keeping it tough for these Westside Warriors. And another kickoff here as Westside will get it at around the 30 yard line. So they will take it up near midfield, but gets immediately strung up. At around, it looks like the 42-yard line for the Warriors. Absolutely, trying to get, trying to get about 40. Well, excuse me, trying to get about 58 yards here in about 37 seconds. Yeah, absolutely, 37 seconds left until we hit halftime here at the Warrior Stadium. You know, we're going to need some significant plays for the Westside Warriors in order to close this gap before we leave for halftime and end this, you know, this half on a good note. Just give them some optimism coming back to try and close the rest of this gap early in the third. Absolutely. West side out here again with a shotgun formation. As they will all will be snapped. A screen pass here for the Warriors. As we look at a couple yards as he shakes a couple tackles and it looks like it's around the first down marker. It's gonna keep them pushing there. You know, they're making sure they get every single yard that they can. Um, they're scrapping for these yards now with 31 seconds left in the second quarter, and making sure all the boxes are checked here. They're doing everything they can to try and close this gap as we go into a replay here. Boom, snaps the ball. Short pass to the sideline. He's going to run it up, and he's going to get wrapped up by these defenders, and they're just going to keep trucking along and go out of bounds there. And that will be a Denver, Denver's refrigeration first down as Westside will try and get another one of those as a deep ball is thrown. Tipped up, and Gosnell will wow. come out with the interception. As uh, hurdles the defender, Gosnell's still running, trying to get that ball near. As he gets stuffed out of bounds at around the Gosnell, could be 33-yard line with 28 Number seconds left to go. Three, Cameron Williams having a game tonight. Absolute impressive right there as he's, you know, gunning for these passes and taking them, you know, faster than... The West Side Warriors can get him. Boom, launches it up. It's a little floater there. Throws it a little short. Picks it up. He's going to dodge the tackle. Boom, jumps over him. Pushing to the near side of the field here. 
looking to get some extra yardage, and they're going to take him out just short of the 35. Absolutely. Now Gosnell has a couple, has a chance to get a couple extra points here to get that mercy rule going. We'll see if they try and get that done or if they try to run out the clock here. 27 seconds remaining in the second. Gosnell's gunning for that end zone after that explosive play from Cameron Williams. As they will just, they're going to take the knee in in this quarter. As they will take the knee and end the half here. With up 34 nothing for the Pirates. Absolutely. They're confident going into that locker room right now. You know, west side, they're going to have a lot to talk about. They're going to have to reevaluate, figure out what they need to do to close this gap, to make this a ball game where they can win. Absolutely. And that will be the end of the first half, 34 nothing, one short of a mercy rule. So we will come back with more football as the Gosno Pirates are up 34 nothing going to the second half. We'll be right back. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Becoming a member of the Westside Athletic Booster Club is a rewarding and valuable contribution to the Warrior Nation, our school, and most importantly, our student athletes. The purpose of the club is to promote athletics at Westside High School in an atmosphere that is consistent with the educational philosophy of the school community. Check out our Facebook page for more information on how to become a member. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Here to deliver the latest news on A-State sports, ranging from football, basketball, baseball, and more. I'm your host, Tristan Harlan, alongside your other host, Cooper Motor. Red Wolf Roundtable is your local sports source. Tune in to Red Wolf Roundtable to get your fix on sports talk and news. Meet the gamer in the gig family, Blaze. Gig Speed Gaming is all about speed, precision, and timing. And with fast, fiber-rich internet from Ritter Communications, Blaze never has to deal with game lag or glitching. Best of all, Gig Speed Internet allows the entire family to enjoy their online activities without buffering or waiting. Our goal at Ritter Communications, the gig life for all. So you too can be connected to what matters most for your family. One gig internet from Ritter Communications, always right by you. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A State Mate. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Meet the Gig family. Blaze is hardcore with a controller. Tara works remotely, Zooming by day and online shopping at night. Trey never misses the big game. And Gigi loves to stream but hates to wait. They're all living the gig life. No lagging, buffering, or waiting. Thanks to Ritter Communications, one gig internet. You too can be like the gigs. Connected to what matters the most for your family with fast, fiber-rich internet from Ritter Communications. Right by you. ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to West Side Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. Klein Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Klein Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Klein Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem-solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, problem solvers. Klein Environmental. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the Westside Warriors. Just like the Westside School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all, 
Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a Westside Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. My name is Gene Roberts. I'm the owner of the franchise for Fox's Pizza Den in Bono, Arkansas, and I'd like to thank our customers for eating local with us. Bono Family Pharmacy is more than just your pharmacy. We are your neighbors. We shop at the same stores and attend the same sporting events as you. Locally owned and operated, at Bono Family Pharmacy, you're more than just another customer. You're our neighbor, and we are dedicated to keeping you and our community healthy. Bono Family Pharmacy on the Highway 63 Bypass in Bono. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Becoming a member of the Westside Athletic Booster Club is a rewarding and valuable contribution to the Warrior Nation, our school, and most importantly, our student athletes. The purpose of the club is to promote athletics at Westside High School in an atmosphere that is consistent with the educational philosophy of the school community. Check out our Facebook page for more information on how to become a member. Westside Athletic Booster Club, we're the team behind the team. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become a state mate. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. ASU TV, shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, Westside Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today. ASU TV, covering all your favorite sports. From Red Wolf Roundtable to West Side Football and more, ASU TV has you covered. Tune in now to ASU TV for news and coverage on these sports and more. Here to deliver the latest news on A-State sports, ranging from football, basketball, baseball, and more. I'm your host, Tristan Harlow, alongside your other host, Cooper Motor. Red Wolf Roundtable is your local sports source. Tune in to Red Wolf Roundtable to get your fix on sports talk and news. Here to deliver the latest news on A-State sports, ranging from football, basketball, baseball, and more. I'm your host, Tristan Harlan, alongside your other host, Cooper Mellon. Red Wolf Roundtable. Come on, we 
Cloud Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Cloud Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Cloud Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem-solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, problem-solvers. Klein Environmental. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the Westside Warriors. 
Just like the Westside School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all, Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a Westside Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. My name is Gene Roberts. I'm the owner of the franchise for Fox's Pizza Den in Bono, Arkansas, and I'd like to thank our customers for eating local with us. Bono Family Pharmacy is more than just your pharmacy. We are your neighbors. We shop at the same stores and attend the same sporting events as you. Locally owned and operated, at Bono Family Pharmacy, you're more than just another customer. You're our neighbor, and we are dedicated to keeping you and our community healthy. Bono Family Pharmacy on the Highway 63 Bypass in Bono. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Becoming a member of the Westside Athletic Booster Club is a rewarding and valuable contribution to the Warrior Nation, our school, and most importantly, our student athletes. The purpose of the club is to promote athletics at Westside High School in an atmosphere that is consistent with the educational philosophy of the school community. Check out our Facebook page for more information on how to become a member. Westside Athletic Booster Club, we're the team behind the team. Welcome back as Gosnell is up 34 nothing going into the second half. One point shy of that mercy rule as they will try and extend this lead as they will get the ball back here in the second half. Absolutely. Just hanging on, barely avoiding that mercy rule in that first half there. They're looking to you know move these chains a little bit in this second half, put some points on the board, close in a little bit, and you know avoid that mercy rule at all costs, which is going to put you know quite a damper on this game. Absolutely. Gosling, it's a story of just big plays. I mean, they had a couple of massive plays that gave them a couple extra points there. West side, they're trying to get, get going on offense a little bit. They're trying to get that going, but hopefully in the second half they can come back and at least show some, some heart. Right, least. absolutely. Gosnell had an explosive first half, going up 34 to nothing. You know, just to highlight some of those players, you got Kylan Young going crazy, Cameron Williams pulling those balls down and absolutely just making great plays there. Um, he's quick. He's strong. You know, you have Lucas as well. Jacobs, strong guy, making these plays happen for these Gosnell Pirates. Um, but obviously Westside warming up right now. And we can kind of check out some of these standings here. You know, Gosnell and Westside, very similar teams. You know, you got one and eight. Uh, Westside's coming off of this win a couple weeks ago. Um, Gosnell, five and four. Neither, you know, neither team contending in postseason games. So we're out here, you know, fighting for these bragging rights, trying to end it on a good note for these West Side Warriors. Um, one thing we'd love to highlight on Gosnell for the Pirates, we have number 77, who is actually a junior high student player who left his helmet at home. And you can see him here over on the left side of that huddle, and he's got a blue helmet compared to all those yellow helmets you see on the field there. Absolutely just crazy. Absolutely. Ninth grader get, getting in and just a nice little story there of, you know, someone who was called upon. And has, even he has, you know, been uh, pr uh, productive for his team tonight as that offensive line has been pretty well against this West Side front four. Absolutely. You know, forgetting helmet or not, he's been a solid piece to this Gosnell puzzle there, um, picking up, you know, some good blocks. He is a good, you know, unit for this team and he's making it happen you know ninth grade or not he's showing out on this field against some of these you know seniors uh, heading out uh, at west side stadium absolutely and we will and we will want to get a, a shout out to the west side uh, boosters for the mills this off season as well as they have been very nice and helping out this west side team out in general so we thank them for that as well absolutely 
TV crew, absolutely. We want to give a shout out to them as well. They have been killing it. You know, you got your producer in there, Tristan, Mr. Sullivan. We got Cooper. You know, we got Ty on the camera ops, absolutely killing it, making this production possible. You know, without them, we wouldn't have this great setup here. Um, calling this game for you guys to listen to and enjoy. So big shout out to our production team, Jacob Keen as well, just killing it, making this all happen. Absolutely. As we will also thank Mr. Holderfield as well for helping out with this broadcast as well. We are nearly set for Westside to kick it off to Gosnell. Gosnell will get the ball back. Again, hoping to extend this lead. They're one point shy of that mercy roll, so we will not have a running clock. It will be just a regular second half. Again, Westside loving that. Gosnell probably not so much. But, you know, it's a it's a it's an opportunity for Westside to get closer in this ball game. Absolutely. Keeping them on their toes here. Um, you know, they don't want to slip behind and get that point. Just all it takes is one point, you know, to get this game rolling a little faster than these West Side Warriors would be happy with. Um, but Gosnell's obviously gunning for that one point, and then West Side's just trying to stand their ground, close this gap, and leave West Side Stadium view, not stadium, stadium on a good note. Absolutely. Here at Warrior Stadium here tonight. West Side getting the ball set up, and we will be underway as they will get set to kick this ball off to the Pirates. As we will get this going. Number 11, Womble kicking it off four as he gets a little pooch kick a little bit. As Gosnell will go back and forth a little bit, that will be a first down near the 40-yard line, the Gosnell 40-yard line. Yeah, Percy Wright getting his touch for tonight. After that pickup of a few yards there on the kick return, obviously Gosnell is looking to up the score early in the third, get some points, not some points, some time knocked off this clock here uh, against these West Side Warriors. Close, and they're going to, you know, obviously shoot to close that gap, but we're going to see what happens as we get underway here in this third quarter. Absolutely. Their shotgun formation now for Gosnell as they've had all game long so far, trying to get their best players in the motion as the ball will be handed off and get met immediately. That will be Young with the carry. Gets about two yards for the Pirates. Yeah, he's been explosive tonight. He's looking to get some touches on the field and make some plays happen. Um, early in the third to up this score against the West Side Warriors and really try and put the nail in the coffin. Absolutely. Again, we'll have 77, the Juco, uh, coming out on the right tackle spot. Shotgun formation again for Gosnell. Spreading out this defense. Handoff again. And this time gets a big chunk of yardage. That will be Gonzalez with the carry. And that will be close to the first down, but just short about a couple yards, about two yards there. Yeah, that's a new name tonight. Trying to get some, you know, yardage on the field, pushing these chains forward um, for these Pirates in their attempt to, you know, try and close this game here in Jonesboro. Absolutely. Big third down now for Gosnell, as it will be snapped. Again, another handoff, third straight handoff, as this time just bumbling and stumbling to the first down, into Warrior territory. That will be a first down. Young again with the carry. Man, he just these running uh, these running backs just doing a phenomenal job for Gosling of just getting off tacklers. Absolutely. He's been explosive tonight with his speed and his vision here. You can see, hands it off, looking for the pocket there. Boom, gets it to the near side, and he'll be taken down. Absolutely. Just a mission trying to get these Gosnell defenders down. Your first down now, fresh set of downs for the Pirates. You can see JV number 77 with the blue helmet on that line for Gosnell, keeping these West Side Warriors back. Again, another handoff this time. Young again outside to the right side, stiff arming some guys. Gets a couple yards for the Pirates. The Young on the carry. As will be now a second and looks like second and five for the Pirates. Absolutely. Trying to get this ball game moving along, move these chains. Um, you know, they've been very good at keeping this a steady pace, moving these chains little by little, you know, chipping away at this West Side Warrior defense slowly and then closing it out with a touchdown. And that's exactly what they're going to try and do right here. Another handoff. 
almost five straight plays now. The same handoff, as this time it will lose yardage. About a yard on that play. It's now be third and a little bit long. About maybe third and six for the Pirates. Absolutely. Westside Warriors, you know, closing that play out early and actually going to, you know, knock some yards off their game here and keep them held back, avoiding that mercy rule. That blooming, you know, thought of the mercy rule is keeping this Westside Warriors team on their toes here at the Warriors Stadium trying to keep this ball game alive. Absolutely. Again, we will see if they run the same option. No, they will hand it off again this side to the left side. As Gonzalez goes to the left side here, gets a couple of tackles, but gets drawn down. Looks like at the first down marker, see if they give it to him. No, they will not. It looks like it will be fourth down for the Pirates. Absolutely. That's a great hold for, you know, these West Side Warriors, keeping them exactly where they need to be. And we're going to see what they can't come up with right here. Absolutely. Fourth and short. They've had a pretty good job of getting big chunk plays. Let's see if they can convert, though, on this fourth down. Gonzalez again with the carry. Gets brought down. Is he going to get the first? Yes, he will. First down. Wow. Pirates. And they will keep this drive going as well as keeping that, top, that clock going as well. Here they go again, moving those chains. Like I said, just picking away at this defense. Um, and they're just consistently picking up a few yards here and there with a couple of occasional big plays for these, you know, for these Pirates. And they are looking good out there. And Westside is just really needing to keep these guys out of that end zone right now. Absolutely. Haven't had a whole lot of luck quite yet, but there's still plenty of time left. This time again, another shotgun formation, another handoff. This time it will be about... Um, Close to a couple yards there for the Pirates as it will now be second and six, it appears. So you got Percy Wright with a couple yard gained there, looking to move these chains yet again. And he's been explosive um, with his speed as he comes to the sideline. Absolutely. I mean, this whole offense for Gosnell so far has just been electric going up against this west side defense. Second down and six, though. About 7.23 left to go. Fake handoff this time. This time goes to the left-hand side. Still on his feet and gets inside the red zone. How about that for a Gosnell first down? Brandon Razor on the run there. Impressive here. You can see the fake handoff. Boom. And he's looking for the far sideline as he's going to run it up. And he's got speed. And he's dodging these defenders where he's eventually wrapped up and taken down after getting that first down. First and 10 now. Ball on the 11-yard line for the Pirates. This time, uh, handoff again. This time, Met gets a couple yards, though, for Gosnell. As they get, as they inch closer to that end zone, which they've you know been pretty accustomed to getting scoring in tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Number one, Kylan Young, was quickly met um, by the Westside Warriors and their defense. Um, but he's still going to be able to pick up a couple yards and try and move these chains second and eight here, and they're looking for the end zone on this one. Absolutely. They've been looking for the end zone almost every play, it feels like. <laughs> this time, though, shotgun formation again. Gonzalez again gets a, finds a hole, tr gets just everybody trying to tackle him, but just close, though, of that, that end zone. Gonzalez Let's... with the carry. Absolutely. Moving along, trucking along. They're third and two just shy of that end zone and they're going to try and put the nail in the coffin and give them that you know dreaded mercy rule as well yeah, 34 nothing third and two now another handoff as is expected this time does he get it will he get inside the end zone no signal quite yet no he will not oh. he will be short as it will be fourth down it appears one yard to go there Absolutely. Oh, what do you what do you think we're gonna see here as they try and close out that one yard? Oh, I mean, like, they've been going hand off, hand off, hand off. Might as well, you know, it's been working for them. Might as well just keep on trucking and right. keep on doing it. They got the players to do it. Might as well, because it looks like that is what they will do. They will go for it here. It appears. Absolutely. This team had some insane depth. Um, where you got Young, you got Williams, you got Razor, um, and many other players 
absolutely just lethal on the run game. So they have every single weapon in their arsenal in order to pick up this one yard and put them in a bad place for these West Side Warriors. Absolutely. Fourth and one, ball on the two-yard line for Gosnell. As they, it will be a handoff to Young. This time it will get into the end zone, and that will be a 40 to nothing lead now for the Pirates. And how about that? A nice just bang after bang after bang drive. Handing it off, handing it off, and it just gets them six. Absolutely. Great play by Gosnell, you can see here. Hands it off to number one. Again, Lethal Young picking up those extra yards. Touchdown, Gosnell, and they're going to try and get this PAT here to make that one 41-0. to zero. Absolutely. We will have another kick try. The last one was blocked. This one, though, gets up in the air and is good. It is 41 to nothing west side, and that will be the lead going into the break. We'll be right back after these messages. Klein Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Klein Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Klein Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years experience of problem solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, problem solvers. Klein Environmental. Welcome back. Um, just to reiterate, we will have game replays. 6 p.m. Saturday on Ritter Communication Cable Channel 21, as well as 7 p.m. Tuesday on ASU TV on Sunlink Channel 18. To watch Absolutely. these games again. Don't forget to watch this game on Tubi Town YouTube. You can find it. And watch some more of this ball game here. Absolutely. We've got 41 to 0 as they're about to kick it off and give it to these West Side Warriors. Close that gap and get out of this mercy rule. West Side gets it around, goes to the right a little bit, tries to truck through a couple of defenders, works a little bit, but gets to about the 37 yard line. Nice little return there for West Side as they start off in some pretty good, pretty good field position. As Third quarter now, about a little less than five minutes to go. Clock still running for West Side. The, it is mercy rule here on Tubi Town, like you said. So we will see. Clock still running now. As West Side will just try and send out their seniors the right way. They're snap the ball here, though. They will be whistled dead. It will be, looks like, offsides. There it is. Here, you know, West Side is out here trying to move these chains. We're currently in Mercer, Mercy Rule coming back in. Um, third quarter, four minutes left. You know, West Side's in a little predicament right here. They need to get the ball moving. They need to pick up some scores here and try and tie that game in a little bit more just, you know, to put some points on the board on their senior night. Uh, ball right up the gut there. It looks like for about a yard or two for West Side. Now second and short for the Warriors after that offside penalty made it first and five. Just a nice little short gain for the Warriors again there. At this point, just trying to get their seniors out the right way. Just trying to fight and fight and fight. Absolutely. They're going to line up again. Power eye formation here as well as it will be a fake handoff that will go almost nowhere. And that will be, it looks like Carter on the run. Absolutely. Now third, and down, third down, excuse me. And he was quickly met and drugged back to the line of scrimmage, making it hard for this West Side team. I mean, they're in a predicament, and Gosnell is not letting up off the brakes. I mean, they are just pushing and pushing and pushing and keeping this West Side team on their toes. And West Side's going to have to, you know, clap back and try and make some plays here despite Gosnell's efforts to keep them where they're at. Absolutely. Now third and about four here for West Side as it will be another handoff. This one, though, will be met short. Now be fourth down for the Warriors inside their own territory. they go, got to get to their own 49 if they're going to go for it here. We'll see what they end up doing. Yeah, Gosnell's loving that, putting them in a rough spot yet again, pinning them exactly where Gosnell wants them. Um, 
putting them in a tough spot in order for them to convert and make some plays happen. But it looks like they're going to hang out on the field here. Absolutely. Carter in for the game for Westside. Going for it here. A couple fullbacks and a running back there, but they will not do it as it looks like they will call a timeout. As we will be right back. 41 nothing Gosnell here after the break. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A State Maine. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Welcome back. 41 nothing Gosnell, as we will have a mercy rule in effect here. Westside trying to at least get something, as they look like they will be going for it here again. Fourth and two. Got to get to their own 49 to get that first down. Absolutely. Hanging out on the field after their timeout. Thought maybe a little, you know, change the plays there, but they're going to keep on pushing. Absolutely. As Carter will play action, pass it, and it will fall out of the hands of his receiver. Looks like Mr. Jordan Hall, unfortunately, just cannot get up to the get to the pass there. As it now will be turnover on downs. Gosman will get the ball back here. Clock's still running. Yeah, they're trying to push these chains all they can, but man, is Gosman keeping that heat on them as much as they can, not allowing anything easy for these West Side Warriors. Um, here at Warrior Stadium on their senior night, and they are not letting up. They came to play some ball, and that's exactly what you're doing. What they're doing here, as you see, number 77, the junior high player showing out for this team tonight. Absolutely. So again, they Gosling will look to run out the clock maybe a little bit here as they hand the ball off. And get a couple yards. It'll be second down now. Looks like that was Young on the carry. Oh, sorry, excuse me. That was Mr. Wright on the carry. Second about seven now for the Pirates. Absolutely. And Wright and Young, man, they've just been absolute threats on this field tonight. We've been constantly looking for those guys as they are getting some touches for sure. So another handoff here. Looks like this time to Gonzalez be a third down. For the Pirates. West side came out swinging. They're trying to keep them pinned here to get that ball back and hopefully make a play happen. You know, with uh, you know, 25 seconds left in this third, this mercy rule right now is eating up this clock. So they are trying to get that closed back so they have a ball game. So they may try and run out the clock. 12 seconds to go on the game clock. 15 to go on the play clock. Is that is what they will do. As the end of the third quarter, Gosnell up 41 to nothing with a running clock going. As we will be right back after these messages. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Becoming a member of the Westside Athletic Booster Club is a rewarding and valuable contribution to the Warrior Nation, our school, and most importantly, our student athletes. The purpose of the club is to promote athletics at Westside High School in an atmosphere that is consistent with the educational philosophy of the school community. Check out our Facebook page for more information on how to become a member. Westside Athletic Booster Club. We're the team behind the team. Here to deliver the latest news on A-State sports, ranging from football, basketball, baseball, and more. I'm your host, Tristan Harlow, alongside your other host, Cooper Mellor. Red Wolf Roundtable is your local sports source. Tune in to Red Wolf Roundtable to get your fix on sports talk and news. Welcome back. Fourth quarter now. Running clock will be going as Gosnell is up 41-0 because of that mercy rule. As Gosnell this time will hand the ball off. Looks like to right as he misses a couple tackles. Still on his feet. Westside gets that first down. Absolutely. You got Bo Watson there on the carry. New name for tonight. But, man, is he showing out, um, picking up those yardage. Around a little bit. 
here we go. First down now for Gosnell. Snap ball again, this time again, 21. That will be met, but he gets a couple yards there. As that will be Mr. Gonzalez again on the carry. Second down, about nine. Yeah, They're not, you know, west side looking better, coming back out with their defense. You know, there's obviously it's going to be hard to stop all these runs because this team is so explosive and they have so much depth where they can make so much happen. And so many great plays. I mean, they've got the range on the quarterback, and they've also got the run game and the speed and the athleticism to get into the end zone. Absolutely. Again, another handoff. This time again to right. Gets met again, and again with a short gain on that play, about third and maybe five for the Pirates. Deep inside West, West Side territory. Ball at around the 39, or 30, sorry, 30 yard line, excuse me. Like I said, Earlier in this game, absolutely just chipping away at this West Side defense, just play after play, boom, 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 yard, 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 just knocking them back and getting close to the end zone as he picks it up, runs up the side, quickly wrapped up and taken down. Absolutely, again, right on the carry, pounding that rock a little bit. Okay, now the fourth and short for Gosnell. And so let's see what they do here. As they will send out. Uh, it looks like they're punting team, perhaps, or maybe they're kicking team. Oh, they're kicking team, it looks like. Trying to get at least a couple extra points on that board. Absolutely, make it just that much harder for West Side. Yeah. Um, they're trying to leave this game, go back to Gosnell on a good note, and West Side is trying to close this gap at least just a little bit um, before they get out of here um, for their senior night. Absolutely. Senior night, like you said, for West Side. Yeah, they are kicking a field goal, though it will be a timeout. We are going to break at 41 nothing here for Gosnell after these messages. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the West Side Warriors. Just like the West Side School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all. Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff, quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a West Side Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 41 nothing. It looks like Gosnell will try and kick a field goal here. Get about three extra points on that board already. Absolutely. Here in the fourth quarter, 925 left to go. The way they've been playing, I wouldn't doubt that they try something crazy here and run a fake, but no. It's up, and it is, oh, it oh. drops it, picks it back up, looking for the end zone, and boom, he's down just shy of the end zone after that crazy attempt of a kick. He'll be a looking first that down, Gosnell. Absolutely, you can replay here, got the kick, it's up in the air, and gets about halfway there, and you can see Westside tries to catch it, muffs the return, drop. Gosnell picks it up, returns it for a first down just shy of the end zone there. It looks like Lacotte was the one that picked it up and got Gosnell that first down. As the offense will come back out here for Gosnell. This now. absolute yes. nightmare for the West Side Warriors right now. Um, that was just an unfortunate event, and now Gosnell is going to try and capitalize off of a crazy play um, just to up that score a little bit more and put a damper on West Side at their home stadium here at Warrior Stadium. Absolutely. Again, coming out, it looks like quarterback here for Gosnell coming in, number eight. Going to hand that ball off, but is met immediately. That's young, met immediately by uh, by West Side defenders, excuse me. As it now will be about second and about 13 ish. Hunter Drummond's with an explosive play there where he yeah. quickly met Absolutely. him and brought him down. Obviously, he's not super excited about that play, and he's going to do his best to keep them out of that end zone. He's, they're going to try and guard that with everything they've got in order to avoid another uh, Gosnell touchdown. Absolutely. So this time, though, he's going to be handed off to Young. He will find a hole, and again, Gosnell will extend that lead even further. Now 47 to nothing with 
7.31 left to go. Absolutely. How about that touchdown? Got Young with another touchdown coming over to the sidelines there. Man, he's been a threat tonight. You got Young out there being a threat. You got Jacobs. You got Williams. Like I said, we've talked about it all night. Their depth is absolutely insane. They have playmakers everywhere you look on this team. Absolutely. And it looks like this time they will go again for a PAT kicking attempt. Their third one, they've made one. Another one was blocked earlier in the game. Once again, this time it will be Mr. Middleton, who's a quarterback. He will kick it up, and it is good. So here we go. It will be 41 nothing, or Get sorry, 48 nothing. Touchdown here. Hands it off to Young. Young breaking there. He sees the pocket and touchdown. And Gosnell goes up 48 as we go to break. Bono Family Pharmacy is more than just your pharmacy. We are your neighbors. We shop at the same stores and attend the same sporting events as you. Locally owned and operated. At Bono Family Pharmacy, you're more than just another customer. You're our neighbor, and we are dedicated to keeping you and our community healthy. Bono Family Pharmacy, on the Highway 63 bypass in Bono. We are back, 48 to nothing, Gosnell. As some of these cheerleaders now doing a push-up after every touchdown, <laughs> they're a little bit tired after this game. <laughs> Probably going to be a little bit sore tomorrow, but you know, that's football. That's that's high school football, especially Friday Night Lights. And here we go. Absolutely. Kickoff for Gosnell. Gosnell will get it around the 17-yard line. Get past the defender, get past another one. Still on his feet. And that will be number 21, Gavin Dodson, with the return. Absolutely. Dodson, man, he did not want to touch that ground there on that return. But he's got something to prove. As they're getting possession back, five minutes left in this fourth quarter, trying to put some points on the board. They don't want to go home without getting some points on this board here at Westside Stadium. So the last thing you want as a team is to get goose egged. And right, right now, Gosnell is trying to get that goose egg off that scoreboard for them. See what they do here on this drive. About five minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Running clock is still going. As this time it will be... Carter at the helm, this time giving it to his fullback, rumbling and stumbling and bumbling down. Oh, still pushing near that first down marker. <laughs> They're picking up every single yard they can get on Absolutely. that play. And, man, pushing ahead, trying to make something happen here. But guys, no, man, you got to respect it. They do not let up. They are persistent, and they are staying on top of these Warriors, not giving them anything easy. You know, when you get a 48 to nothing lead, it's easy to slip up, but I have not seen Gosnell do it yet. Absolutely. It's now second to short, though. Let's see if their defense can come up. This time again, handing it over to his fullback. We'll get again close to that first down marker, even a little bit, inching a little bit closer to it, to that 50-yard line. It'll be about third and one. Third and very short. Picking up some yards. Man, they just yeah. need one yard here. Their third down conversions, it's been a little tough for Westside to convert. So we're going to see if they can't take the field, take this ball and get it a yard and continue on and try and put some points on this board and move the chains. Absolutely. Third and very short. This is their bread and butter here as they will hand it off again. No, there will be a fake handoff as Carter will go out to his left side, get a couple extra yards and get a first down. Absolutely. Which will be a Denver's refrigeration first down for the Warriors. And Carter, man, just showing off that athleticism that we talked about earlier in the game. As he is not scared to run that ball, he'll see something. And they obviously have that engineered um, quarterback fake there where he likes to run to that sideline and shoot for some yards there. And he's picking them up and getting these West Side Warriors, these Denver first downs. Absolutely, Denver refrigeration first down. We thank them again. This time, fresh set of downs for Westside. Warriors will come out again, power eye formation. This time again, hang it off. Oh, as he goes, keeps going. Now, again, near that first down marker. And that will be number 20, Gavin Metz. Gavin Metz showing off his athleticism yet again. Time and time again, he's been absolutely a threat on this field, picking up these yards where Westside needs him most. Um, and they're going to try 
and keep on keeping on with these chains being moved yet again. First and ten, new set of downs, and they're going to keep on trucking. Another Denver's refrigeration first down. Finally, this offense is clicking. This time, though, it looks like Mr. Womble will come in for quarterback duties. As it'll be first down and 10, ball at the 31 yard line, ball at the Gosnell 31 yard line. Haven't said that too often. Handoff again, this time to number 23 for a couple yards. That will be Mr. Uh, Waddington, excuse me. Second down and about seven now. Good pickup of yards there for West Side. That's a new name out here tonight trying to show out. And keep on keeping on for these West Side Warriors. We're looking at second and seven here, and they're pushing for that end zone, trying to put some points on the board here. 135 left to go here in the fourth. Again, that will be number 20, Mr. Metz, again for another carry, again getting a couple of extra yards. But now third down for this West Side offense as the clock is still you know, kind of ticking down. It's chunking away at this time, and they are – Keeping on, Gosnell's keeping on the gas, not letting up. No breaks on this Gosnell team as they're holding this West Side Warriors team to, you know, the minimum. Womble fakes the handoff, rolls out to his right, gets a couple yards. Uh, does he get the first down? It looks like he does, which he will. That will be another Denver's refrigeration first down for the Warriors. Now 49 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. Womble with a great carry there moving that chains and keeping this ball game alive. As we're looking at 40 seconds, these West Side Warriors are going to try and put something up real quick before we get out of here on their senior night at Warrior Stadium. Absolutely. On a beautiful night here tonight. Womble again, handing it off, though. Flag pops out. Immediately will be a false start on the Warriors. Five-yard penalty, and that will not help out their – their uh, expedition and they're yeah, absolutely uh, towards a touchdown or at least some points right man that flag is just going to put a damper on this team pushing them back you know they didn't need any of that but you know unfortunately that's football you're at where you're at 27 seconds left they're going to try and make a play so we first down about a cloud of dust to go so we give that to mr metz though as you will get a couple big plays here still going and we'll get closer and get at least those five yards back and then some more here on second down now absolutely and I mean Mets is not let up he's not letting that flag you know deter him from picking up some extra yards I mean he's not letting up these guys one thing you got to say about these Warriors is they don't let up they absolutely. keep on pushing Wombo now goes to his left and he will try and get to the end zone which he will touch down west side with no time left on the clock as these seniors will at least go out with that on the board. Absolutely. And that's a great way to go out for Womble, man. Senior night here at Westside runs the clock out for a Westside touchdown. You can see he snaps the ball, boom, hands it off to Womble. He's going to run back to the left sideline, looking for the end zone. And that's a touchdown for the Westside Warriors. Great way to end the night, end the night looking for an extra point here to make that 7-48. to 48. Well, Let's see if they get it here. Snap, hold, and he will not. It will go right into the right official's hands, as that will be game. Gosnell will get the win, 48-6 to on Westside's uh, senior night, Absolutely. as that is the ball game. It's going to be the ball game out here at Warrior Stadium. Absolutely. Great game from both teams. You know, we're about to get out of here. Great game as we switch over to break. We'll be back just here in a second to continue on. Klein Environmental is a full-service environmental consulting, engineering, and contracting firm. Klein Environmental serves local government and private sector interests in the Mid-South and the Midwest. At Klein Environmental, our team includes three FAA Part 107 drone pilots, two engineers, five expert operators, and over 15 years' experience of problem-solving for our clients. Engineers, contractors, problem solvers. Klein Environmental. Denver's Refrigeration is a proud supporter of the Westside Warriors. Just like the Westside School District strives for excellence by engaging learners, empowering minds, and educating all, Denver's Refrigeration strives for excellence by providing you with knowledgeable staff 
quality workmanship, and speedy service. At Denver's Refrigeration, we believe it's a great time to be a Westside Warrior. Denver's Refrigeration, 3501 East Parker Road in Jonesboro. My name is Gene Roberts. I'm the owner of the franchise for Fox's Pizza Den in Bono, Arkansas, and I'd like to thank our customers for eating local with us. Bono Family Pharmacy is more than just your pharmacy. We are your neighbors. We shop at the same stores and attend the same sporting events as you. Locally owned and operated, at Bono Family Pharmacy, you're more than just another customer. You're our neighbor, and we are dedicated to keeping you and our community healthy. Bono Family Pharmacy on the Highway 63 Bypass in Bono. As Gosnell will get the 48-6 win here tonight on Westside Senior Night, here with my partner again for tonight, Lake. Now, Lake, you know, we talk about both teams coming in, not... Not you know playing for a postseason play, but playing for at least some pride and playing for something. You know, Gosnell coming out with the uh, explosive offense to say the very least. Westside oh, yeah. not being really able to answer so far. Absolutely, man. Gosnell, you'd be surprised how far bragging rights goes. You know, it's a it's a motivation thing. Obviously, like you said, both not contenders, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna let they're not gonna you know let up and you know take it easy because Gosnell was pushing. They had some great plays. As well as West Side, you got to give it to them. You know they came out here, they gave it their all on Senior Night. Um, obviously, it didn't play in their favor, um, but regardless, they gave it their all. They didn't let up, and that resulted in them picking up a touchdown at the end of the game. Absolutely. You know, again, going back to what we said earlier, just you know, you want to be able not to have that goose egg on that you know scoreboard. You want right. to be able to end your your seat your senior season. Um, you know, kind of going out and uh, getting that points on the board. We just wanted to thank our quick crew, though. They make everything so possible. Um, they do everything so well, and we just thank them for helping us become better broadcasters because of it. Absolutely. You Absolutely. got Tristan Harlan in there. You got Ty on the camera ops. You got Cooper. You got Mr. Sullivan making it all possible out here. Um, and Tristan and Cooper, great show as well for the all you A State athletic fans here. Red Wolf Roundtable, that, that'll kind of give you your fix of A-State athletics here in Jonesboro. Um, that's kind of some personal, you know, hands-on stuff as we get out of here from Westside Stadium. Absolutely. And thank you all so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Thank you for a great season of football as always. And we'll be right back.